Hello everyone, I'm back with another tutorial. Uh, this time um, I'm going to show you how to update your browser plugins. Uh, this is necessary whenever a plugin gets updated or there's one with a security flaw and you need to update that. So, um, And you'll notice the web page is not loading correctly, especially in uh, apps like Infinite Campus. You try to open the gradebook and it says that the plugin is out of date or you don't have it installed or something like that. And this uh, is how you install it and or update it. So we'll start with Firefox first and we'll do Chrome in a minute here. As they both are a little bit different in the processes of uh, how they how they update plugins, but for Firefox, um, you may or may not have this little orange rectangle up here. If you do, go ahead and click that, and then just click Add-ons. Um, if for some reason you don't, and it looks like this instead, we have the file edit view, you know, the normal um, taskbar. Just click Tools, and then Add-ons as well. Alternately, if you're a keyboard shortcut junkie like me, you can just hit Control Shift and A. And then once you're in the Download Manager, you're going to go to Extensions. And uh, here we go. This one says Adobe Acrobat Create PDF is incompatible with Firefox. So um, let's see. Let's just go to more. And I could um, download another version of this, but I'm not going to do that right now. Um, and in fact, I didn't mean to go to extensions. I'm sorry. Let's go to plugins instead. There we go. And uh, most of these are up to date. But if one's out of date, you'll see that an important update is available. And then go ahead and just hit update now. And... Uh, Firefox is kind of weird. It brings you to this other page <laughs> where you have to click update again and then that will take you to the appropriate page uh, to download the plugin. Now for Adobe Reader specifically, really any Adobe products, they have this annoying knack of wanting you to install McAfee Security Scan Plus. Please do not install this because you already have an antivirus software on your computer already and this will just conflict with it and it just it just wreaks all kinds of havoc it's just uh, it's a huge ram hog too so just uncheck that do your computer a favor and then hit download now and it will download through your browser just hit save file for firefox let it do its thing. So that has four minutes remaining. Um, let's just uh, chat a little bit while we're waiting for that. Um, once it's updated and the page in question, um, or for the page in question, sorry, I had to collect my thoughts there. Uh, you're just going to refresh it. You in Firefox, you can go to the end of the address bar and click on the little refresh thing. And then um, or you can just press Control R. Sorry, it sounded like there was a uh, uh, my headphones were picking up a radio station there. So that's why I paused. All right. Um, Let's let that finish doing that. A minute and thirty sec a uh, minute and three seconds. I can read, I promise. Alright, let's go to Chrome and let's uh, just get to the plugins here while we're waiting. Cause the, the once you get the installation file it's the same for either browser. But um, sometimes each browser has a different plugin but they install the same, so the installation process is the same either way. So for Chrome to get to your plugins, um, 
you can go to, let's see, click on this little doodad here. Go to settings, I believe. Then extensions. And let's see. Yeah, let's try settings. I usually don't do it this way. Advanced settings. Uh, well, let me just show you the way I do it. The point and click is fine for most people, but I prefer doing things the keyboard way. Uh, so it's just Chrome, and then a colon, and then plugins. Just type that in, and I'll bring you right here. That way you don't have to dig and search through endless menus, although it's probably obvious. I'm not seeing it, but anyway. Um, if you're in Chrome, and this is the exact same, this is Adobe Reader. It's saying that it, not, it needs a critical security update. Um, so you could go ahead and do that again here, but you don't really need to because it's the same Adobe Reader. And uh, we're just going to run that real quick. Uh, okay. Okay, and I would recommend that you do install updates automatically. That will make it so you don't have to do this nearly as often, if at all. So, just hit next. Let that download and install. We'll chat while that's doing that. Uh, but Chrome, um, it's pretty much, I mean, pretty easy to find what plugins need to be updated with Chrome and then you just click the file and it takes you there. Uh, not in Firefox where you have to go to another page and then click the file. So do that and then if you find you're having trouble with a particular plugin in either browser you can always uh, just untick that always allowed or you can just disable the whole thing um, if you're finding you're having trouble with it or whatever. But that's really all there is to it. Um, there's not much more to say other than um, Java for um, Firefox and Chrome is different. So you will need to run two separate installers. That's kind of unfortunate, but that's the way it is. Uh, but yeah, that's it. This is downloading and installing and this is what you'll see when you go to update Acrobat or, uh, you know, any plugin you have. It's going to look different on the screen, but this, the process for installing is the same. Just click next, 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 and you're there. All right, well, I'm done babbling. So if you have any questions at all, please feel free to email me. Until then, this is Jason signing off.